Here comes the Austrian anomaly, Gunther. A man with one purpose, to prove the math sacred. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! Six foot four, 265 pounds. Gunther is steadfast, commanding, imposing. He is the ring general for a reason. Untouchable and unmatched in the ring. And don't forget, unrelenting. Gunther never lets up and never backs down. Gunther is always ready to demolish anyone who dares come in his path. And if you don't respect him, he'll make sure that you fear him. It is the ring general's battlefield, and he is ready to conquer. Finn Balor is here. And it's time for the WWE Universe to face their judgment. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! A man with amazing high-flying skills, unmatched stamina, and a physique carved out of marble. It's good to be the prince. I find it amusing, Corey, that despite all those gifts you mentioned, he still requires constant backup in the form of the Judgment Day. Is it Balor's fault that so many competitors want to sit under the learning tree of one of the greatest competitors of this generation? If you ask me, he's not teaching them the right lessons. He's got all the skill in the world, but the Judgment Day never plays by the rules. All you need to see are the titles, the main events, the accolades earned by the Judgment Day. Balor's teaching all the right lessons, and the Judgment Day has executed them to perfection. It is time to bow to the prince or face his judgment. We're going to get a good look at Gunther here, one of the most destructive superstars to ever step into the squared circle. Destructive might be an understatement, Cole. A perfect harmony of devastation and disfiguration. Gunther makes sure his opponents remember stepping into the ring with him for weeks after the bell rings. Many have risen and many have fallen to the challenge of Gunther in the ring. His opponent, of course, is an ultra-aggressive Finn Balor who really just cut the humanity out of himself when he joined the Judgment Day. I would say he found his purpose, Saxton. Balor's always been aggressive. What he has now is a higher purpose. It's really helped him focus that aggression and become the best version of himself. He eludes the contact. Sling blade by Finn Balor. Corey, we have to assume that Finn Balor has thrown his old playbook out the window and is focused on what the future holds for him. While you're not wrong about Balor looking to the future, I don't think he's thrown everything out the window. Balor didn't become a global superstar by accident. His uncanny in-ring skill is what made him such a fearsome adversary, and it's still a major difference maker in any match. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, God. Solid punch. He gets back into the ring. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Boom. Running STO plants them. Nicely done. And fans ruthlessness being called into question after that attack. Gut wrench suplex. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Still that again. 
Yikes. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Thunderous clothesline. Just a ruthless maneuver from the ring general. True old school power on display from Gunther. And he's able to run. Fan looking to put him away. 16. It's over. Gunther is done. What? Only two? What an amazing level of fight. Still left. And Gunther. And Balor in complete and utter shock right now. That was from the top. Crash landing. Balor retaliates. These two having an answer for everything. Bullseye with the drop kick. And Finn having even more pressure put on him there. Gunther with steely resolve to do that kind of damage. Gunther wants to finish this. Driven down with the power bomb. It's all Gunther's for the taking. Oh, look at just ripping at the eyes. And look at from a back suplex. Gunther moved at the right top. Clearly not expecting this. I cannot believe what I am hearing right now. Why would he come out here? Why do you think, Saxton, these two can't stand Look one another? Behind. Look out! And he has an answer for Priest. Oh my goodness! Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. This packed house is going absolutely nuts. They don't want this match to end with the reversal. Down with a sling blade. Basement drop kick. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. Stopping their opponent. Smash. Oh, kick right to the gut. Caught the clothesline attempt. Countered into an STO. Shifts it back onto him. Thunderous clothesline. Gunther has that determined look on his face. The ring general showing off his power. Power bomb. Cannot keep Finn down. Cover. He stays alive. He stays alive. Where does Balor find the strength to go on like this? What a will to fight. And Guther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. Sky high. Axe handle from... Uh-oh. Finn turns it around. Boot to the gut will stop any. Gunther with his opponent all the way up, delivering a power bomb. This one is all but finally ends it, and all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Gunther. And the outside help definitely had to play a factor here, guys. I don't know how anyone can call this a clear-cut win with that in mind. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you have to imagine their head was not in the right place after that distraction. That's true, Saxon. It's hard to focus on just the match when there's an outside variable at play. Ah, oh, took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table. Now there go the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Oh, 
Suplex off the announce desk. Suplex from the announce desk onto the floor. Setting it up. Boom. 